Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next, after this. Alright, I think it's game six, because right now, all game fives are complete. But this time, Suns and Jazz are the only ones left in the Western Conference. Since the Warriors are in the Western Conference Finals, we're looking for a team that will be heading towards to advance the Western Conference Finals to face against the Warriors. Will it be the Suns or the Jazz? Well, we're not sure what's going to happen, but there is a lot of choice option that can be a little bit change up in between. We haven't seen the Utah Jazz making it to the Western Conference Finals, but we always seen the Phoenix Suns, the favorite of Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and McCall Bridges of Dynamic 3 of the trios heading to play here one time here in the Finals of the Western Conference and the NBA Finals. Will the Suns win or the Utah Jazz stop the J Suns and head on to Rally Game 7? Well, it's time now to get the game started. As standing by here at Vivint Smart Home Arena, it will be OJ, Test 2, and Lightball. And so, let's get the show on the road and get started. Guys, it's all yours. I will be here on a halftime show and a post-game show after this game. And stick around later as we see the Celtics and the Bucks at TD Garden Arena. Well, let's get started. All yours, team. And these will be the starting lineups here for the Utah Jazz and the Suns. We will be back here just a moment here in Game 6. This is right now the Game 6 of the Western Conference semifinals. Along with me, Test Tube, and Lightful, we have is Ali LaForce. Hey, Ali. Brian, thank you. Donovan Mitchell's mantra is done. Determination over negativity. He said, quote, I pride myself on being a team player. I'm going to trust my work and keep moving forward. Guys, he is responding. Oh, he sure, oh, he is. sure is. Thanks, Allie. So far, the starting lineups are in between Devin Booker and Donovan Mitchell. I know. Because of this one, those two teams are only the best one I can call for. Donovan Mitchell was the here is the greatest player here in the Jazz section. And most of all, there is a choice here that Mitchell can definitely try to stop their run and make the pressure here even more bigger. A lot of saying about Monty Williams, his second season was definitely only my choice, but the only thing I definitely remembered it before was those two coaches are definitely one of the bestest, the best of the game. The ball is tipped, and right now we start game six here at Utah, all fueled up and ready to go. The lineups are being occurred. Rudy Gobert is in center, then Mike Conley is in point guard, Donovan Mitchell in the shooting guard, Royce O'Neal here in the point forward, and Boban Bogdanovic here in the small forward. Along with the Suns, Paul is on the, is on the point guard, McCall Bridges in small forward, Jay Crowder in the point forward, then it's Devin Booker in the shooting guard and DeAndre Ayton, a center man from the player that we've seen before since they made it all the way down to the finals. That's true. I, I always know the definition for the uh, DeAndre Ayton is the only standout that he has ever played here before. Lots of heavy in between the matchups and in between the zones. It's a very tough one to try to make it last. The moment the thing I really would love to take a look about is that is that Aiden is definitely doing a lot much warpy credits here. Sometimes Rudy Gobert can definitely reject on that one. Aiden covered up by Rudy Gobert. Bridges outside, five to shoot. Fades, Booker for three. That shoots off the rim and that goes out of bounds. That will be Utah ball with only 3.46 to go. Only has scored two points in this game for the Suns in game six. I'm pretty sure it was uh, it might have been Chris Paul that got his first bucket here. Uh, probably I would have bet that Chris Paul was definitely a better player here that played here for our offense. But I want to see what his skills can definitely try to take a look at him. 
second attempt here, Mitchell. That's off the mark as great uh, hustle on defense for Devin Booker. He's strong in that move. He's really showing what he's going to go for. Bridges outside. Trying to put a knuckle in here on Royce O'Neal. Three for Booker. That's good on the outside. Royce O'Neal couldn't really uh, keep it up on Devin Booker. Yeah, he's going to have to like try to keep it going out there. He needs some, some help. Mitchell inside. Face off. Rebound if I go bad. That is, is good. Here for the first two bucket for the Jazz. You tell him that Rudy Gobert was definitely a bear. Like, he is strong. He can try to knock that down. He's like all over the place. He is knocking it big. Booker back to Paul. Bucket six. Crowder over McDonovich. That's a good sport feeder in the in the corner of the box. And that'll be his first bucket here in game six. Conley, right inside the middle, pace it up, layup drive, inside, that's it, it's a number first two bucket for Jazz, first two for Conley. Conley's definitely doing really well, he's like along, along the pressure, make that one the board, a one ginormous run. Booker right to Paul, Paul tried to put him up the pressure on him, Booker outside. Over Bogdanovich again. That's two in a row. He makes it a second bucket here. It's 9-4 lead. Utah. Utah trail by five. Bogdanovich on Booker. Tries to help along with the screen here for Gobert. Conley right in the feed outside. He goes over to Gobert. Moves around over Booker. That's a good rebound. Takes a bat. Count it in one. That's Gobert, his first and second bucket of the night. And that will be a foul on McCall Bridges. That's his first What a hustle here for Rudy Gobert. He is delivering the feeds that I have it all alone. It's mine. I want to hear all the roarness that you can feel. The new changes are being covered up here for the Utah Jazz and the Phoenix Suns. As four players are checked out, all five players are checked out for the Suns. We have Cameron Bain, Torian Craig, Cameron Johnson, JaVale McGee, and Lamar Shamit. And he makes it free throw down. Here's Payne. Hasn't scored that much yet here for, for a couple of games last time here in Utah. But he really wants to help out with their teammates. I wonder if they can definitely do things a lot much better. They can definitely go for it. Shamit. Over around Clarkson. That's a good feed in the side of the zone. Shamit takes his first bucket. Shamit definitely had it all. In between a down and this one, and, and only at that point, it might be a very uh, tough one to go right by him. Alexander Walker to pay. Clarkson going around inside of McGee. That's a feed. And right now, Kay and Craig, back to Gobert, around McGee, that's a good drive, and that will be another bucket for Gobert. He's dominating this run, performance on this one. So much time, it can be very a tough one to try to make him look like he did. Craig, outside, he moves her over to Johnson, over Paschkill. Paschkill couldn't save it, ball, and take the ball lock. But now it's Johnson with his first bucket. Clarkson on Shamit. We're under 40 seconds to play in the first period. Clarkson on Shamit. Gobert with the screen. Now he's facing it off over, over McGee. McGee takes his first rebound. Now I'm just off the pain. 20 seconds left to play in the first period. 15 on the shot clock. Shamit outside, trying to, trying to move his way through. He fights over to McGee. Shot clock down to five. Shamit up it again. And that will be off the target. And that will not deliver the buzz beater. That will be off the course. And it's the first quarter. It's 13 to nine. As the Suns lead it up by four. There's some heavy hit matches. Stick around there. We'll be right back after this. And if you're tuning in here for the second quarter, we're about to start now as the Suns lead by four. 
talking about that one here. The one of the greatest players, I can definitely uh, definitely have, tell you this one, that Carl Malone was a true knockout to the key. He had already MVP second times in a row here in 1997 and 1999. Most part of it is all my favorite times that, uh, that, that these players can remember Carl Malone. Himself here for the Utah Jazz, he's definitely all around it. Of course with John Stockton. Shevin driving in front. That's a good feed here as Shevin. Another bucket two for the sit for a game in game six. He has four. Jazz trail by six. Alexander Walker on Bay. This off to Clarkson back to Alexander Walker. Payne got a good delivery. And Walker delivers a drive. That will be his first bucket of the night. Alexander Walker, he was definitely a one-time shot, lucky shot here. Might be one time that he had before. Craig, back past the paint. Now he moves back to Johnson. He feeds it to Shevin. Pretty up ahead. That's a good feed inside. And that will be assist by Johnson. Johnson got it all down here. It might be his only time performance on this run. Can definitely have it all. That'll be his first foul for the Suns to pick it up. That'll be JaVale McGee, first personal, first team foul. And as for Hassan Whiteside heading to the free throw line shooting two. They'll be, they'll be holding the clock here with under four minutes left. 3.53 to go. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first shot. Yeah, got some good uh, changes up here for Hassan Whiteside. Definitely got it all. Javel McGee is checked out as DeAndre Ayton and all the five players are checked in as Johnson stays on the court. Aldridge four are checked out. Gay, okay, Bogdanovich, Mitchell, and Conley are checked in. Second free throw for Hassan Whiteside's good. And now they're coming back in by five. Here's Paul. 3.50 left to play here in the second quarter of the first half. Ball over to Bridges. Right around McDonough, around Mitchell, and that'll be a number two pointer for Bridges. You talking about that one here, McCall Bridges got it all of it down. It may be a tough one to make a single, a digit. Might be a lot harder than they had. Hey, with the back, back feed, Hassan Whiteside. Got a second book every night. He's going hard. The pressure's on him. Now Paul right to Johnson. Rolls back over to DJ Aiden. Fades. Rolls back to Paul. Right to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Free for Bridges. Good on the triple outsider. That will be a free pointer for Bridges. Extend the run. And with Paul, he has three right now for his assist. And one rebound only changed the results. Changing result can be one time another here. I mean, that it may be enough for Chris Paul to try to like help his run for his feeding off for his time moment. Not for uh, not for to mention that uh, the other guys definitely got it all down here. They might have wanted to like take their own time. They wanted to like make them uh, make them stop for it. I mean, that, that's a definite way that you wanted to get through. Chris Paul, number two pointer, that goes up with four points. Now Gay, up back to Mitchell. Bridges on the cover. Screen rejected off, a little bit off sideways. And the drive for Mitchell is put it back in. Now the Suns coming back in the other way. We approach down to two minutes here in the first half of the game. Bridges right over to Johnson. Johnson back to Bridges. Moves it over to Crowder. Over Bogdanovich. A terrific D here on an uh, opportunity run for Bogdanovich. He's definitely doing hard on that one. He's going with a big banger moment. Mitchell can't make the two-pointer. Another miss by Utah Jazz. And with only two, he's got a one out of seven and only one rebound here. He might have to get step up a little more here. And that's going to be a lot of uh, hard uh, consequences to try to stay in the game. Yeah, it's definitely impossible. 
free from a call for just. Rebounded by Aiden. Oh boy, he's going in there. Wow, he made that one quick timing. And Aiden got another one. His first bucket is in. He's always delivering on that one. Most of the time can be one. Excellent D, and not a pressure at all. Mitchell brings it back, down by eight. Now, with under a minute to go, ball right over to Johnson. Moves it back over to Crowder. Crowder goes back over to Johnson. Double man on him, back to Bridges. Bridges over to Ian, around Whiteside. Terrific D, and that will be stopped here for Whiteside. You know, you know you're going to call that one a bigger time. What a tremendous on the D, Whiteside. That puts it back in. It goes back down by eight, and we got a 25 seconds underneath ahead. Paul delivers up to Johnson. Goes right back to Paul. 15 seconds left to go. Bridges right back to Aiden. Screen coming up for Crowder. And go inside. And off and missed away for Aiden. Mitchell looking for a boss beater. And he didn't make it in time. That ends the first half. It's 27-21. We'll have to come back here and see who wins the game. So we're going to have to stick around later. I know. Tough ones always advance. And we're going to get a quick break. This is all yours. Halftime shows up. A lot of tremendous battle here for the Jazz and the Suns. But let's have a quick moment with a recap here to give that one a call. A recap for the first half of the game. And, and you too, Sean. Here's how they did in the first half. That's it for now. Let's go ahead and send you back to Utah for the Vivint Smart Home Arena. I'll see you guys for later for the post-game show. Take care. And if you're just tuning in for the NBA playoffs, we welcome you back here at Vivint Smart Home Arena. This game is about to be introducing your moment of ways here as the Phoenix Suns are up in the lead here by eight. Those teams are the only best ones here right fans so far in between those teams. What do you think who had the best and why do you think it's a much better approving their players with bond demand? I mean, those demanding of this one, it can be a very tough one and my my opinion is the is one of the best plays here. They've done a lot of great hustling and the skills. They got all the down and for that time, we got everything under control here in between those two. But I think that Rudy Gobert had a great block this at that point. They might have it all down. Well, I'm not even sure what they're going to say, but this is all I have just seen because maybe there was a, a bigger a, a inspiration in between those two. I mean, they got it all down. Aiden has to make the shot. He shoots up wide and then goes off the target as it's Gobert with the rebound. Four minutes left to play here in the third quarter. And a two. Mitchell delivers it from here. From the elbow. They're down by four. They're delivering the pressure. Offensive is working on their way down. Ball reaches up to Aiden. Around it. Gobert and he makes the shot and one. They count the bucket as DeAndre Aiden gets a shot at the free throw line shooting one. And that's Gobert with the foul on Utah. That's uh, keying on this one. This only matchup is uh, definitely a toughest one to make the in, in between. And not to we can mention it before because of DeAndre Ayton was trying to make the attack and try to show him up that point. That's a hard one to give it to keep an eyes on this one run. So you always got to make sure you keep the shot right in momentum out there to try to stick with it. Thank you. 
The free throw will be knocked in for DeAndre Ayton. Here's Conley, only scored a couple of them in the first half. Ball on the cover, Rudy Gobert on Ayton. He moves back to Clarkson. And a drive, take your feet out, and a bound in the paint. That's Clarkson with the dunk. That dunk was a smooth run, yeah. Science knows knowledge. Miguel McGee has got a bucket here, and Devin Booker with the assist. It's quick time to tell here. He got up shining bright, he got it all of it down. I mean, that's all I, I've really gotten into it so far. Three minutes left here to play in the third quarter. Jordan Clarkson only got his first bucket here and the first assist here on the board here in the second half. First half was a little bit too, too much here to get things off, but the slowdown was better because now Jordan Clarkson has it all covered. Missed again by Chris Paul. Here's Conley, right on DeAndre Eaton. He's trying to move in there and the offense reach on a defender. Here will be Chris Paul in sports first ball. Now the new changes are coming in as McCole, Bridges, and Chris Paul are checked out. And the other player from the Jazz as Conley's checked out. And Alexander Walker is checked back in. In the corner is Gobert. McGee on the cover. Bounce pass to Pasco. Craig on him. He's trying to regain his momentum up there. Alexander Walker right on Clarkson for three. And that is rebounded by Torian Craig. That'll be his first rebound. And McGee, oh boy, he's going. Makes a shot. And that'll be off the target of bound as Alexander Walker gets his foul. That's a very tough one. JaVale McGee was going to try to slam that dunk. But it looks like the defender, Alexander Walker, was trying to stop him to try to make him go far. The attacker went on. It's too much for him at that point. You know, it's definitely a one thing at time for another one. I know that all the players are kind of like getting a hydrate out there, and sometimes you, you're not going to get that matching right. McGee, it's the first free throw. Jamal McGee has only played here with the Cavs, but refuses to play here with the Denver Nuggets. And after the team of the Denver Nuggets in the midseason, he decided that he wants to stick with the Phoenix Suns and try to work things up here for the next pressure because the other teams weren't that great. It's very hard and sometimes I, I really done something a lot much better for JaVale McGee is that after he plays with the Golden State Warriors and their team, they have it all of it down. They want to make something a little bit more proudy. And they have it all of it down. Jordan Clarkson makes the three and now it's down to seven. Now it's Shemit in the corner of the wing. Shemit back to Payne. Payne wants to make some smooths out here. Craig and the baseline right over to Payne for three. Off target ahead as McGee takes a rebound. Craig steps it back. He takes it back up to Shemit. Six on the shot clock. Booker up in the wing. Goes up. That's another miss by Phoenix Suns. Wow, the defenders are all over it. They're trying to pick up the speed of momentum out there. McGee with the block. Ashko makes the drive, and that goes up by Rudy Gobert. Wow, McGee was just slammed out there. Get that ball out of his hands. Now Craig on the wing. McGee decided to come over to take the screen. As Craig dishes it inside, and he's fouled by Rudy Gobert. His second personal 13 foul on Utah. Torian Craig was the only one who wants to like deliberate up here on the feed. He wants to try to like go with the attack on the Kyrie Irving move. Now with the reverse layup drive, it, it didn't really work for him. So he's got to try something else to try to make that one score. Torian Craig will be right at the free throw line shooting two. For his first time here in game number six, there's going to be a lot of free throw mixing, making throws here for the Phoenix Suns that they got played here before in the last couple of games from one to five. First free throw is good for Craig. New changes are being released here as Crowder and Johnson are checked in for McGee and Shevitt as Craig moves over to the center. 
Over team, so the Jazz are making new changes here. Mitchell checked in for Walker, Bogdanovich for, for Whiteside, and Gay on the other end. And the free throw will deliver up for Craig, as he now has his first two bucket in the game. Clarkson to Mitchell, and a great feed by Clarkson, he gets his six. And that's a great helping in the feed here, that's a ding moment, ding. You gotta go with that one to make the open pass much better. I like that one. And right to Booker. We're under 50 seconds, seconds to go here in the third quarter. Payne backing over to Booker. Five to shoot. Wants we'll some more room here, and he's fouled again. Jordan Clarkson receives his first personal. That will be your first team foul to fourth team foul. Not so good out there because Booker was going to try to make that one attack. That before that Clarkson had made a tad late on that block, he was trying to defend it. It was too much for him, and that's a hard timing for the Jazz to try to get no, get some notes here to block that run. First free throw for Booker is good. And now Tory Craig will be checked out as Aiton is checked in. Well played on a solid run here for Tory Craig. Haven't seen the fouls lately, but he's doing very good. And Whiteside is checked in for Rudy Gobert. Two free throws will deliver here for Booker. It's now a 40-35 lead. Jazz trailed by five. Mitchell up on Payne. Takes a bounce pass over to Whiteside. Aiden watching him. Clarkson on Booker. The screen on Aiden. Mitchell outside. Six on the shot clock. Whiteside on Payne. Over again. In an out feed. Crowder delivers it. And now he will swings back to Aiden. He finds Johnson. Delivers it back to Booker. Five to shoot. Johnson decided to go for it. Going for a shot. And that'll be off the target. That's the end of the third quarter. 40 to 35. The Suns are looking for a chance to win in game six and move on to the Western Conference Finals to face against the Warriors. We'll be right back after this break. Fourth quarter is coming up after this. And a moment now to release the State Farm assist of the game. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I've definitely got some good eye contacts here. Sometimes I really like to call that one a great feed here for Jay Crowder. And sometimes for Devin Booker here on DeAndre Ayton. So far, the only thing that never does it so far is like the one biggest tough one that ever has here for tonight. I agree, because that the teams did a really great job out there. The number one seed in the 2K Sports, they got it all in control. Clarkson on Johnson, now he goes inside, does it again! That's two in a row! You're down by three! Oh boy, that looks like some heavy attackers out there. Might be put on a little defensive breakdown. Johnson outside, back to Paul for two! Delivers it outside, it's a three-point connection! They are wound to be up here on that one. They're up by six again. Chris Paul, a legendary player. I don't know what to tell you this one, but he's like a hard in between. Without playing the Funders, he really likes to play with the Suns, and he has a good, perfect vision to go with that. Aiden delivers it up on Johnson. Swings it over to the Bridges. Mitchell on Bridges, and Johnson outside. Four minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Crowder inside, five to shoot. The two point gets caught up and it's Rodonovich with the rebound. Conley finds Mitchell. Goes right up and in. Double defender takedown. That is rebounded by DeAndre Eaton. Eaton's got his second rebound here in the game. And for the status of Donovan Mitchell, he only gets scored four points in the first half and second half between. 
that's really a tough one. And try to defend it that one. It may be a very tough, difficult situation for Donovan Mitchell to try to keep it on. And the target was just picking up their runoff into the position here for DeAndre Ayton. What a show. Timeout call by Utah Jazz with 3.29 left to go. It's 46-37. The NBA Playoffs on Duke Sports is brought to you by ITSIT, the official watch of the NBA. AT&T, fast, reliable, securing of this network, any year, any contract. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Talk to your agent today at 1-800-STATE-FARM to get a free quote. As you can see right now, Coach Quinn Snyder is telling their teams as they are having all-in discussions out there, these two head coaches have it all in down in mind. How do you think the head coaches have it all in down with a perfect uh, view of vision here, guys? Well, the, the most important thing that Monty Williams and Quinn Snyder has it all in count in front here, they have it all in perfect vision out there. They wanted to help their teams to get right back at the offense and defense. It says, let's get into work. Let's try not to go too hard, and let's try not to do, uh, do too much with, uh, with, a, with a dribble motion. Let's try keeping it run up here and close so we can try to like keep it in together. And it might be another one that we can try to face it along. I'm sure this was going to be a very tough one in between, but it's not very that easy because of Quinn Snyder was telling his team to try to keep your eyes open for the open man. Don't let it get a block shot here. Because JaVel McGee and the other guys are all on attack. They are having a lot of pick perfect vision here to try to stop them and go in, in a perfect self and try to knock things down and deliver. Mitchell, right to pass, go back to Conley, five to shoot. With the three, Conley, it's no good. Rebound it again. House goal, are you kidding me? Here, I'm going back by, down by nine. I'm definitely telling you this one here, the Jazz needs to pick up there. In motion, they need to run. Johnson back to Paul. Inside the feed, Booker. Ian, right on Pasco. Johnson, right inside, back to Paul. Paul delivering the elbow, and the shot's good! Paul is delivering a number one, and he is delivering the higher feed. Mitchell on Booker. Two minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. An excellent D by DeAndre Ayton. And now Bridges are in, ready for the attack. Bridges, what a feed. It's nine points for Bridges. 12 and four runs since the last 2.46 per minute. That was an incredible feed here. What a deliberation. National White on Booker. Back to O'Neal outside, back to Conley. Ball under cover, and Basco with the screen. Finds Basco. Three to shoot. O'Neal. Conley for three. And no foul called by the Suns as it was gone bam up. And not too much is getting in the way. That's a tough one. The release pin there is nothing that you're going to do. Wow. The open three matter. Devin Booker. 13 points. Their team is going to go to the Western Conference Finals to face against the Warriors. I agree because this is what everybody's counting for. Utah Jazz tried hard, but this, it's not going to be enough for them to try to keep an eye on the run. And Johnson delivering the second bucket here, as this one is turning out to be one of the best one. Now call the arm Paul. Screen on Bogdanovich, Mitchell for two. That will be in there in time for another three-pointer. Here's Paul. He has nine points in this game. Now it's Aiden. Rolls it back over to Paul. Up inside now, it's Johnson on Bogdanovich. Moves over, but call Bridges, fouls, and he gets the whistle here as Bryce O'Neal picks up his first. A number 15 foul releases on Utah Jazz with 34.9 seconds. This is all at dusk is going to be turning out that one. It might be a one time another. It may be a very tough one to try to make the situation even life with a tough angle.
hits the first free throw. And we have last changes here for the Suns and the Jazz as all the starting players goes off the court. And same thing with the secondary too. Peyton Holiday and uh, alongside here with McGee and Craig. Alexander Walker, Clarkson House, Hernan Gomez, and Uzubuk are all checked in. We'll have to see them for next season. McCall Bridges hits two. And it's out 59-44. McCall Bridges gets 11. He's the uh, tremendous out there. A tremendous player as all it turns out. Alexander Walker, screen here on Ozubuk. Right over to Clarkson. Take it inside, Ozubuk. Around again. And what a feed! He gets his first bucket in game six, but it won't be enough to make them score a count. Now here's Peyton. He faces off to the good Cole Bridges. And he's going to stand back. The Phoenix Suns take the win here in game number six. It's 59 to 46. That means they are moving on to the conference finals to take on against the Golden State Warriors. You bet this one's all that turns out. Their team is looking for a great opportunity out there if the win or a loss in between the Suns or the Warriors. I'm betting this one, Stephen Curry and Devin Booker, ready for everything. And that should do it here for the game, folks. With me, OJ, Destube, and Whitebull, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs of the Western Conference semifinals. Coming up will be the Bucks and the Celtics. Coming up later here. And now let's take you over to Son of Beast to close the game. Son of Beast, it's all yours. Have a good night in Utah. All right, OJ, thank you very much here. What a win here for the Phoenix Suns. They are playing against the Golden State Warriors here for the third seed team. As along with that one here, they won't be playing here at the Chase Center since it will be game three and four. And now for the Suns, they will be playing games one, two, and five, and game seven if necessary along with Game 6 here back at Chase Center. So, let's check out your three star players of the game. Starting off with number three, we have his, uh, one of the bestest of the best, in between the tying runs. So far, McCall Bridges has 11 points, one rebound, two assists, and he only had just got a good, uh, good chance here to try to stop their run. Only 16 performed on the court. Number two, we have his Donovan Mitchell, 11 points, two rebounds, one assist. He never got a dunk here, but unfortunately with that, it's all over for him. He tried hard, but that's all he had to do. Hopefully we'll get to see Donovan Mitchell perform next season. And for number one, this one all turns out, Devin Booker. The New Balance player of the game. 13 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, and 17 performance run of his effort. So, it's fantastic to see Devin Booker heading back to the Western Conference Finals. But it all turns out... I'd like to thank you all for watching for this video of the Western Conference semifinals, and that concludes there. But we're not done with the Eastern Conference semifinals yet, as we are looking for a team that will be heading on to the next round for the finals to finish things up before the NBA Finals. So for that, this has been a presentation of the NBA Western Conference semifinals in the playoffs of NBA. I'd like to thank you all for tuning us here. And if you're tuning us for the Eastern Conference, I will be here, ready for action, once everything is ready to, ready to go. So with that, thank you for watching. Peace out, everyone. For a while, as the NBA 2K22 of the NBA Playoff Dial, this is Son of Beast. See you all alongside of the Eastern Conference, Bucks and Celtics, and Heat and Sixers. Somebody.